Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of some Halloween items from Makeup Revolution. And um, I was really excited to get these items. I have three eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter, and a few lip products as well. And I did try and go ahead and swatch all of the eyeshadow palettes. I filmed that yesterday, so... If the footage is good, because I've never tried to do that before, I'm going to insert that at the end of the video. But uh, let's just get right into the review. So the eyeshadow palette boxes look really cool. You have Dark Rain, Give Them Darkness, and then The Dead Are Alive. Um, I was honestly kind of disappointed when I opened these because the palettes look exactly the same the only way you can tell they're different is from the back but i was kind of disappointed that like this wasn't actually on here um so kind of debating if i want to keep the boxes or not because of that uh in the back of these do also have all of the shades on here as well so the first one i'm going to go over is the dead are alive and um i've already lost the insert that goes with it and you can see the little brush thingy there just decided to fall out um, you can probably tell I've used this a fair amount now it does have 13 shimmers and three mattes and some of the shimmers are more um, glittery and some of them are more metallic I would say in this particular palette there's only two of the shades that are all more on the glittery side um, and there are some shades you can kind of tell here that are incredibly similar uh, even when you swatch them uh, overall this is probably my favorite out of the three just because these are more wearable colors in my opinion um, but there are only three mattes in there so that's kind of a downside to it the next one is give them darkness and i'm going to take out the little brush thing this time so it doesn't just fall to the ground uh, and this one is definitely darker i mean it's called give them darkness so i mean I don't know what you would anticipate. This one has 10 shimmers and six mattes. Uh, within this palette, I would only say one of them is like a glittery shimmer. The rest are more metallic. And uh, this one, because the shades are darker, they do not swatch very well, but they go on the eyes really well and they blend really well. So the swatches, I would say, are a little deceiving, but this is definitely good for those darker, smoked out kind of looks. And then the last one is Dark Rain, which was probably my favorite case. I mean, look at it. Um, this one has eight shimmers and eight mattes. I actually do still have the names of this one. And this one, I really like the idea of it because you have all of the matte shades here and then you have the corresponding shimmers on the bottom. And I like the idea of that and I feel like this one uh, it's probably the second most used one that I have uh, just because I like these more neutral shades and this blue. I actually like the blacks in here as well. I was really impressed by how those swatched and went onto the eyes. I'm going to hold them all up together so y'all can kind of see what they look like compared to one another. Uh, so the top one is Give Them Darkness and then Dark Rain and then The Dead Are Alive. Um, so you can see that they're definitely different colors. Some of them have the same kinds of blues or neutrals throughout, but they're definitely different enough uh, to have all three. I don't think you necessarily need all three. I think if you just pick the one that you'll think you will use the most, then uh, that's probably your best bet. I would say that they're all good quality though. Uh, some of these shades I was super, super impressed by. Like I didn't know what to expect. I haven't tried much for Makeup Revolution, but uh, I would definitely say these are a good value if you are curious in them. Curious in them? Curious about them? I don't know. Can't speak. Uh, the next one is the Makeup Revolution Ghost, Ghost Lights Vivid Baking Highlighter. Baking? What? Baked. I can't speak today, it's fine. And this has a little picture of a ghost in there imprinted. Can you see that? Can you see it? Not a ghost, a skull. What am I, see, I can't speak today. It's fine. Um, there we go, you can see it now. This is a beautiful highlighter though. It is what I'm wearing today. It is very, very blinding. And I don't even really know how to describe this shade. Like, do you see that? It's like, 
I, it has a white base, but then it has like pink and purple going throughout it. And um, I actually don't even really like their Vivid Baked Highlighters. Uh, I've said in the past, I just find that they don't really work for my skin type since I am uh, on the drier side, but I find that this works really well. I'm really impressed by it and it feels super creamy. Like this doesn't feel baked, but uh, yeah, I love this. I think it's a very pretty highlight. Would definitely recommend. I did purchase two lip products. The first one being a lipstick, and this even says collection shade on it. Um, and this is in 100% vamp, and it is a very, very deep shade. I wouldn't even know what to call this. This actually looks darker on the lips. There's right there. It looks more purple in the swatch, but when you actually get it on your lips, it looks more of a um, blackish purple, kind of like what it looks like in the tube. For some reason, when you swatch it on your hand, it looks different. Uh, I would say this lipstick is just okay. Um, it does wear off when you like eat. Like I got the inner corner thing where it decided to just disappear. Uh, I would say this one was okay, but if you are gonna go for a lip product from them, I would recommend their Retro Luxe Matte Lip Kit. I found that this was a lot nicer and this was in Vamp Vampire Night. And this comes with a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick which I'm going to swatch for you. I believe this also came in a few shades, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this one is in Vampire Night. It says new and improved on it. I never tried the old formula, so I can't, I could not tell you if that's true or not. Um, so this is what the liner and then the lipstick look like on the back of my hand. And um, I really like these two together. I really ever use lip liner uh, because I have very dry lips and a lot of times lip liner just kind of emphasizes that. But uh, I didn't find that the case with this. And then this felt really, really dry when I put it on. And then throughout the day, it actually got more comfortable. I don't know why, but it did. Um, and I've tried it a few times now and it did it to me every single time. So I don't know what's going on there, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. It got more comfortable. It also lasted a really long time and it didn't like move around or anything. So I would definitely recommend one of these kits. I think you can buy these separate as well. I'm not sure with this collection if you can or not, but, um, yeah, I was very impressed with these. Uh, this is definitely one of the highlights of this collection to me. Um, that is all I have from this collection. I know they have uh, a lot of things for Halloween makeup in particular. Like I saw they had like big blood and all these things. Um, I got the things that I thought I would actually use because I'm like, I would never use something like that. But they have a whole Halloween collection and Halloween is my favorite holiday. So naturally I had to try it and I haven't tried much for Makeup Revolution. So I figured why not try some Halloween stuff? Uh, so if you guys have picked up any of these products, let us know down below what you think. I hope you did like this video, and if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger, and I will see you later. Bye!